Uh, today I'd like to talk about deer damage in your garden. Here I have a bunch of hostas that have been eaten by the deer. This is what they looked like a month ago. This is what they look like now. They've pretty well ripped through my garden and eaten all the choicest hosta, le choicest hosta leaves. Uh, fall now, so I'm not really so concerned. The plants will live. Uh, but it's nice to see your hosta leaves. You don't grow them to look at the stems. You grow them to look at the leaves and, of course, the flowers. Um, we have, this is my yard, by the way, we have a four-foot fence around the entire property. Doesn't do any good against deer. They jump right over it. Uh, quite frankly, uh, a six-foot fence is probably not even adequate. Uh, fences are expensive. I'm going to suggest a couple of ways uh, whereby you can prevent deer damage without going to the expense of putting in a huge uh, fence or without shooting them, which of course is the solution. Uh, I don't happen to own a gun. I don't think I could shoot a deer if I had one, but there are ways you can do this pretty, pretty simply. I'm going to start by showing you Matthew's toxic pepper mix. Now, Max, Matthew is a, uh, an aficionado of hot peppers. He grows about 25 types. This is a blend, as you may see, put into a, a vinegar bottle. Uh, it is edible. That is, if you have a stainless steel mouth and a cast iron stomach. Uh, he tells me that three small drops on a scoop of rice is enough to give you indigestion for about two days. Uh, the main purpose, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm maybe too old to consume much of this, this makes a great preventative for uh, deer. Now, you can get a bottle, this is called a spray-on bottle, they come sometimes with some substance in it. Uh, I reuse them when they're empty, you attach a hose there, you fill a, the bottle up with this toxic mix and it meters out a certain amount of hot pepper spray and you just spray the plants. It's a good idea to put a couple, oh let's say a teaspoon of either soap or some kind of oil into it as an emulsifier. It'll stick uh, better on the leaves. So that's one system. Uh, without a hose you can do it with a simple spray bottle. Most people have these. The soap has uh, arrives this way, uh, liquid soaps, and you just do the same kind of mixture. Only In that case, you only use a very, very small amount of the toxic mix, and the rest with water. I'd say 10% of the hot pepper mix and the rest water, and then you go around and spray the plants. This is fine if you have a small, small little section uh, of plants that you want to preserve. If you have a whole garden, uh, it's, it's, it's rather inefficient. Okay, I'm going to go on to show you one other system that uh, I use, which I find very, very uh, effective. The disadvantage of using pepper spray is that you'll have to replace it after every heavy rain. It'll wash off. By the way, the deer hate hot pepper even more than most Americans do. We have another system, and this system works extremely well, uh, and it's fairly simple. I'd like to introduce you to a 20th century antique. This is what's called a boombox. This is the predecessor to Walkman and iPhone and all those new gadgets that replaced this. Now, I, some of you can probably still remember 20 years ago when these were all the rage. People walk, would walk around with them. They have an advantage. They are both portable and electric. Uh, you can plug them into an electric outlet or you can put batteries in it and run them that way. Uh, they make a lot of noise. They don't need to make a lot of noise because deer have extremely sensitive ears and if they hear human voices, they get scared and don't come near them. Um, so we play all night music on this. We have had no damage uh, by deer since we've done that. Uh, it's not terribly expensive and if you're clever enough to go to some you know, store that sells remainders of things that no longer are very uh, saleable in the market, you will find these very, very inexpensively priced, uh, much cheaper than, for instance, a fence, 
uh, almost as cheap as hot pepper. But what you do is you turn it on, you leave it on all night. You don't have to do a lot of volume. Uh, if your neighbors uh, are fairly close by, they won't have to hear it. The deer will hear it at a very low volume. Uh, here we have the choice in this particular one. We can play discs of Spanish music or we can play the radio. In which case you can get an all night talk show, you know, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, they work very well. Whatever you use, as long as there's noise coming out of this boom box, you won't have any deer problem whatsoever. So those are some suggestions, low cost suggestions on how to keep deer out of your garden. I hope you find them useful. Thank you.